because, you know, Mr. Baldwin, and uh, as part of the visa requirements, I'm supposed to make fun of my president. And, uh... No, but you guys need to understand, like, obviously you guys are in the election year. And uh, we're here as Zimbabweans because to, to help you guys in the transition, because uh, we're experts at this thing. No, we've been doing it for so many years, we have the same result all the time. Like, we're good at this, right? And you guys don't understand that in Zimbabwe, like, how much people love our prison. How much people love him. I mean, like, seriously, like, you guys call your president, what, Jacob, Jacob Zuma, President Jacob Zuma, right? Our president is called the head of state and government and commander in chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, President Robert Gabriel Mugabe, okay? <laughs> That's his title. Even on the news, man, even on the news, the reason why he wins so many elections is because, like, they could dedicate the whole hour of news on Robert Mugabe alone. Like, no, I'll give you an example, because you, you guys have never lived in Zoom, you need to understand what it's like when you're watching the news in Zimbabwe, it's an hour of Robert Mugabe, so this is how it works, right? It's like, the Zimbabwe is dancing in the back, it's like, ah, that's my song! Welcome to the news at 8. My name is Hugo Rubatika. The head of state and government and commander in chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, President Robert Gabriel Mugabe, yesterday castigated the Western imperialists for their terrorist attack against Zimbabwe. Let's hear more from our chief political correspondent, Ruben Barre. As the head of state and government and commander in chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, I hereby castigate the Western imperialists for their terrorist attack against Zimbabwe. <laughs> And uh, that was a story from Ruben Barre telling us about the head of state and government and commander in chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, President Robert Gabriel Gordon, castigating the rest of the imperialists for their terrorist attack against Zimbabwe. Let's move on to sports news with Spencer Banda. Thank you so much, Hugo Romatica. Great story there on the head of state and government and commander in chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, President Robert Unfortunately, we've run out of time. For 